Yo guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to part 3 of how to make a low poly gorilla inside of Blender. So, if you've been doing the series, make sure to go check out my Discord and uh, send some uh, works in progress or final renders of it. Um, make sure to stick around and hope you, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So guys, I uh, previously recorded this, uh, going over how our uh, lights and texture of the rig, I mean the character, um, but didn't really work out so well, so I'm just going to redo this now and walk you through it. So, first off, uh, so, what I did first was, uh, so I go shift A, camera, add the camera, so then you can get into a view that you like, control alt zero on your numpad, zero, and then... I have this view, navigation, walk navigation. I've key bounded this to shift F, um, pretty useful uh, tool. Um, so you can use WASD to, so WSD to move around and then Q to go down and then E to go up. So you can just fly around like this. And then, wait, I'm gonna quickly put in shortcut keys so you can see what I'm doing down below. Okay, cool. So first off, Let's go and add a light sun. Drag this up. It doesn't matter where it is. And then let's split this window in half. This is going to be the rendered window. And this is the window that we're going to work from. Okay, so let's make the strength a bit higher. And then let's, let's rotate it to be slightly behind from the back actually let's do this with the area lamp and i'm going to change this over to cycles just because i like cycles better and set it to render region so it's only inside this uh camera cool so we have this latch here so we can shift e and then alt r then we can have a light from the front Okay. I'm just going to make the background transparent for now. Cool. So let's shift the this one. Add a backlight. So it adds some light over here. Let's make this a bit more powerful. Okay. So you can even make like this front one here a little bit yellow. Just slightly. And then just make the sky blue. Okay, cool. So, you just mess around with the color of the lights. Oh no, that's the world lamp. We need to go back to light. And then, maybe give that also a bit of a yeah, orange tint. Okay, and we can also pose this. So I want to have it like looking up. Well, maybe looking down is better. You can kind of see the face of it better, so it's more recognizable. And then we can like pose the legs. You can rotate the feet like this um, because you can see it will like carry on with that so you can just rotate it individually. This one the same goes for this. Okay. Um, maybe also even rotate the legs if you want like this. No, whatever. We can rotate the spine a bit, just so it's a, not a uniform. Just pose it to whatever you want. Cool. 
a face leaning a bit too far over. Like like going like on a slant like this. Okay. I quite like that. Maybe rotate that and then Okay. Okay, cool. I like that. Um wait actually let's let's move this front arm back. Okay, cool. Let's rotate this arm out a bit. Okay, cool. And then let's begin to do this. Looking quite nice. Okay, cool. So next off, we're gonna add a background. So how we're gonna do this is so go out of uh, pose mode, and then what you do next is go Shift A, Mesh Plane, and then you go up to here, uh, yeah, and add ob object constraint, copy rotation, and select that and change it to camera. So it'll be facing the camera and you can go control or you can press G and then double Z and then drag it out and then scale it up. Sorry. Um, so let's drag this off to the distance, scale it. So we can scale it on the Y axis, the local Y axis. So you just double G, I mean double Y. Okay, cool. So there, so let's, we can give us plane a material and you can make this like a dark brown color and then let's add another light area and then change this cop uh, copy rotate this copy rotation to this plane and then Make it bright. Let's see where. Hey, right. that looks quite nice. So just adds like that right, that light around it, so you can you can distinguish it from the background, the gorilla. Okay. Uh, let's just mess around this color a bit. Uh, that's last been this brown color okay cool so yeah that's just basically how i'd go about rendering out the character so now let's mess around the settings so i usually go 150 to 125 doesn't really matter uh for low poly you don't need that many samples since you don't have any complicated textures and stuff so i also add denoising and then go down to performance and i'm on a cpu so i go 16 by 16 um Blender Guru's done a video on why, how, how, what your tile style should be, I'm pretty sure. Um, so go check that out. Maybe have it, I'll have a link down below if I can find it. Okay, cool. So, now, also, PNG, if you want a PNG. Um, I don't really need it to be PNG because I don't have any transparency. Uh, whereas JPEG doesn't have transparency, but PNG does. But doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do PNG, leave it by default, and render the image. So there you go, it's rendered out. As you can see, this is what it looks like without, without the samples and he has the denoising. Um, it looks quite nice, not gonna lie. So, clean render, 1080p. Always let this render. As you can see, this background light looks quite nice. And then this also has the rim light to distinguish it from the background. Okay, cool guys, we've finished the render. Image, save as. And then you can add it to anything. Okay, cool. I'm gonna save this image, close, save this if you haven't saved it already. Um, I should probably save it as well. Uh, gorilla uh, 2.0 because I changed the last scene up from the main one. 
Okay, cool, guys. So, that's the end of the video. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And go check out my Discord, send out a render if you've gone through the series with me. Um, if you have, I'd really like to see it. So, yeah. Cheers.